Welcome to another Toolbox Talk tip. Uh, just as a quick recap, it was December 2017 when the new FGAS2 regulations came into effect that had an impact on our range of aerosol canisters. So what was the change? As of the 31st of December 2017, the new FGAS2 regulation had an impact on our range of aerosol canisters. Aerosol canisters that use propellants that are outlawed by the FGAS regulations, we are no longer allowed to manufacture. This included A3 and A7, uh, amongst a couple of others. However, you as a user or reseller, if you have stocks of A3, uh, A7, check it or can smoke, you're allowed to carry on selling and using them until all stocks are actually used up. The restriction on it is on us as a manufacturer. For those that wish to continue to use non-flammable aerosols, the old A3 has now been replaced by A10. Available in two sizes, A10S is 250 and there's an A10 in a 150 uh, canister size. Both are non-flammable and a direct replacement for the old Solo A3. In situations where use of a flammable aerosol isn't uh, an issue, uh, there is Solo A5 as an alternative, which is a more cost-effective solution, which gives it a lower cost per test. Detect Testers uh, dedicates a lot of time and resources to the testing of our products, and we work very closely with the detector manufacturers to make sure that our aerosol canisters are approved for use on ionization and optical detectors when used with the Solo 330 dispenser. If you want to know more, check out some of our other YouTube videos on our channel or have a look at our training page on our webpage. I've left a link below to that. As always, if you've been watching, thanks for watching.